Hey guys, welcome back. It's Maverick here today with episode 3 of Pact Opus Destiny. So, last episode, um, Cosette kind of sort of bit the bullet here. Um, and she has been reincarnated as this Destiny girl. Uh, but uh, whether or not that is still actually Cosette, you know, that remains to be seen, right? Even though it seems that she's modeled based on Cosette and, um, no, it's hard to say if any of Cassette's memories actually still remain in there and um, if her relationship with Takt can continue on. Um, quite sad in a way, but um, I don't know. I don't know. Looking at the ending of last episode, it kind of also gives you hope that maybe, just maybe, there is a way to revert all this and Cassette can still come back, right? But be before all that, though, uh, we still haven't actually gotten to uh, Takt and Destiny showing off their new abilities and powers, right? Which I suspect we'll get into right in this episode. So let's get to it. All right, let's begin in three, two, one, play. Nice. I feel like this is what everybody is here to see, right? Destiny just ripping it up. Oof. Man. It still reminds me a lot of Transistor the game though, the way that, you know, the battles are, the movements, the visuals and whatnot. Yeesh. Nice. I know, once again, though, I'm kind of... Oh. Revert back. One more. Okay, let me guess. The uh, Symphonica is going to come out and help? Oh. No. Who are you two? Oh. Well, I was actually waiting for some new characters to appear. I guess, again, this is a maestro and a music art. Is that a tuner fork? Well, in any case... Actually, uh, I've been kind of sort of reading up on the, uh, the main site. There's actually a lot of information there if you guys go and check it out. So, um... Um, I was about to say. So they talk a little bit about, like, the, the world a little bit more, like, who exactly are the Symphonica, right? This mysterious organization who is apparently in charge of, of the music arts. Like this guy, right? So apparently as the as the story goes, you know, the Symphonica have are basically like humans united front against the, the threat of the D2s, uh, recognized by all the governments around the world. So they aren't quite the government per se, but they have um you know, they, they are basically an independent organization specifically to battle against the D2s. And they have branches all over the world, uh, mostly based on, um, like, where very uh, prominent Philharmonic symphonies uh, reside in. Like, like, well, maybe not just, not Philharmonic, but, you know, very famous symphonies reside in. Like New York, like Berlin, like Prague, and so on and so forth. 
And so they have a branch in New York as well. And the New York branch is in charge of the, you know, the entirety of the U.S. Hold that thought though. What are we doing now? Is this a flashback or? All right, still on Patatik, I guess. Oh, I think he's definitely dreaming or something of that sort right now. <laughs> Uh, say goodbye, but did she really say goodbye or is this just a fake goodbye and so on and so forth? Awakening <laughs> Oh, he's directly back in his house, eh? Yeah, she's destiny. Beethoven's fifth. Only a day. And so nobody came out and or took care of the situation? Lenny. I guess the guy. Yep. <laughs> All right. Right. Okay, I guess they are going to explain this element to us. This country would be America. Yeah. 
Now that's the question. I meant to ask. So they normally still keep their original character, eh? Oh no. So they still completely change, even those that do go through the artificial process. I guess that's why they're headed towards New York, eh? To seek out the Symphonica? They don't have any kind of communications device either? Wait, that, they're all the way that west? Wow. I wasn't expecting that. Because last episode they were around Oklahoma, Kansas, right? So, okay. Yeah, no communications. So well, everything is actually going quite quite well, right? And Tact himself is also quite the reasonable guy, all things considered. So they're still kind of holding on to hope that, you know, Cosette 
He's still in there, right? I definitely feel like this Titan girl is a lot more expressive with her emotions, though. Although, actually, thinking back to episode 1, Destiny became quite expressive herself, didn't she? A sassy one, eh? So, when she uses her abilities, it actually takes out taxed life force or something? <laughs> Shotgun girl, eh? So, okay, so their situation is quite unique, eh? Mm. Right, so she is eating him up. I think it's more like, at least for now, joking at least for now. Oof. She should have like an armored form as well, right? Or is this already her armored form?
Oof, nice. Acceleration using her using her gun. I like that. Really? The entire house? That's a little bit... <laughs> I bet if the grand piano was still here, he would not have agreed to that. That is Maestro Asahina they're talking about, which is Chuck's dad. So that actually happened in Boston. It's, I think they call it like the Boston tragedy or something. She's literally called a music art tech. <laughs> I mean, not gonna lie, I like Destiny Chan as well. <laughs> oh, Ito Miku, Miku Chan voice her, eh? Alright, I'll see you guys after this. Alright guys, so we do we are introduced to a few new characters here including Titan Chan uh, Who is a music art obviously she should be based on a specific um, On a specific piece of music as well. I took I quickly looked at the um at the official site for for uh, You know for talked and um, you know for for the series for the anime and apparently she's based on symphony number no. one by Prokofiev uh, Prokofiev um, Honestly, I that's kind of out of my 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 area of expertise here, so I, I don't really know. But um, I mean, at least we know what Destiny is based off of, Beethoven's uh, Fifth. But in any case, um, so I think this episode really just confirms a lot of things that uh, we were suspecting. Like for instance, uh, the actual Cosette. No, she she is not the same as Destiny. Destiny is Destiny. Cosette is Cosette. Uh, although I think they are kind of like hinting at there being some characteristics that Destiny uh, exhibits that are similar to what Cosette was like before. Even though of course the personalities are definitely definitely different and memories are different as well. Um, you know they are heading towards New York to to solve this problem, and uh, it appears that um, indeed Destiny is devouring uh, Tok's life force, right? So when in the, back in the last episode when we see the um, the music art spirit thingy biting off Tok's hand, you know that's not just a, a metaphor or, or whatnot. It's actually uh, devouring him whole, right? So you know we got that we got that to to look at, and the rest, um, you know. Not really too much else to 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 say for this episode. I mean, we 
still haven't i was actually expecting lenny to to start teaching talked about like some things about being a composer and whatnot like how to fully utilize abilities what kind of abilities do the music art have and you know how do they collaborate with each other like why is there a need for a conductor in the first place right um it seems that these are you know the the music arts are you know they, they're they're sentient right so they have their own intelligence they have their own thinking and so on and so forth why is there a need for a conductor what can a conductor do right so uh, that that those are things i'm curious of and um hopefully in the next few episodes uh whilst we are still traveling with lenny we can you know get through that a little bit and i guess um well i don't really know when they will um when they will uh separate from each other but we certainly know that back in episode one you know they parted somewhere already once they got to the mid us right so i'm assuming right now they are actually on the west coast presumably california or something like that um or because they are heading towards uh las vegas right or i guess maybe technically uh they're in utah or montana washington something of that sort right <laughs> the pacific northwest of the united states um and then you know swinging around once they get to around kansas uh uh oklahoma that's first episode and then they are going to as they say swing down of course of all things going to new orleans uh you know the the hometown of jazz and whatnot so we're probably going to get some other characters and some some jazz influenced music arts perhaps from there uh, even though I don't quite know if they're only entirely based on classical pieces or if they actually go through uh, different genres of music as well, right? So far, up to this point, they've definitely mostly be cla uh, been classically inspired, but who knows? Once we get to New Orleans, maybe something will be different there. Um, and in fact, if that was the case, I would have actually thought they would go to Chicago instead, right? Um, Chicago and then New York. But hey, um, that's, that's that. Um, as for other things from this episode, I mean, not really too much to talk about, honestly. Um, the, the visuals obviously were, were great as usual. I'm still not entirely sold on the, the audios, right, the background music that, that's being utilized during the battle scenes and whatnot. Um, I still feel like it's, um, it's kind of a waste of the entire, uh, thing that they have going on with the classical music and, and whatnot, but all right that's that's their creative decision i guess and i mean again I, I i was more expecting like some music that were classically inspired right like taking some 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 motifs from the classical pieces and then reworking it into like a more modern interpretation or something of that sort like i you know i i do feel that this is most probably a if not a music game it's probably not a music game i i have i'm not entirely sure it's probably going to be you know as a mobile game it's probably going to be some sort of rpg system right um either real time or or something like that but music is definitely going to play a huge part in this um and that's kind of why i keep on bringing the transistor um game as well because um uh, that's also a game that it is an action game but um you know the use of of music in it is absolutely splendid and and really adds to the atmosphere and adds to the overall and enjoyment of it and this being a series uh concentrated and focused on providing a game as well i do feel that they should take a little bit more effort into uh, how to into uh, weaving the music with the actual battle scenes and action scenes and so on and so forth um beyond that like for the characters i mean lenny I think they are kind of hinting at Lenny being um, being gay and whatnot, uh, especially with the way that he dresses, and also at the very end there, you know, with, with him joking that uh, Tact is is good looking and um, <laughs> wanting to eat him up or something of that sort. But hey, that's cool. That's cool. Python is quite cute as well, uh, and I think uh, what they were implying here is that that is actually her her battle form, right? So unlike uh, Cosette slash Destiny, who has like a normal form versus her uh, her red dress form, her red dress form would be her actual form instead. Um, and whereas Titan is always in that form, it doesn't really feel too much like a battle uniform or whatnot. I definitely feel Destiny has her beat there in terms of the apparel department, but I guess that is just that. And I gotta say, though, um, you know, I, I do like Destiny's character here. Like, I get it. Cosette, she's cute and all, and, um, 
you know, I'm, I'm presuming, like, based on what they're saying here, uh, that we will be getting Cosette back at the very end or whatnot, or, or perhaps she is just going to merge uh, completely with Destiny and, and so on and so forth. Because, now think about it, right? If we get Cosette back, that means Destiny needs to be killed off, right? And somehow, I feel like that's also quite the sad situation as well. I mean, Destiny, even, even now, just three episodes in, even though you could say she's devoid of emotions and whatnot, the little that she's shown... Honestly, I like her really, really much, right? I, I, I am, um, I am a sucker for these kinds of characters, right? Um, so, uh, I, I enjoy it. I love it, and um, yeah, I think that's pretty much all for this episode. Uh, and I will see you guys in the next one as well. I think at this point, I'm pro probably going to be making it a, uh, a, a habit of uploading this like a day after the it. It actually releases so you know I'll have a bit more time in between and so on and so forth so do expect ep uh, uploads from here on out to be on Wednesdays instead of Tuesdays which is when the episode typically drops so hopefully you guys can um, you know hopefully uh, that's it's well that builds well with you guys but in any case I will see you guys next week as well stay tuned and bye bye